I'm here with Vivian Baker, makeup artist to the stars. I'm her very favorite actor she's ever worked with. We met doing, the, I guess, the first, first Jurassic. Jurassic. Yeah. Now we're here on the sequel. So you're applying mud, but it's a combination of dirts and bloods and muds. Why don't you just throw mud in my face? Here, would you like for me to? <laughs> no. But the reason you don't just throw mud in someone's face is because you might shoot one tiny piece of this million piece puzzle one day. And the other piece, a month later, it's called continuity. And dirt, I think, is the hardest. As he sweats, it breaks down in a really groovy way. So I like it to look real organic. Yeah. Very real. Very real. How did I get well, so lucky to be with you? When we did the first <laughs> Jurassic, you were so particular with my mustache, you trimmed it with a with scissors. And so we stuck together since then. Yeah. We got a rhythm going. We got a rhythm. We got to figure it out. <laughs> This is Mary Mastro. Right. She does hair. It's been particularly challenging working yes. with my hair. It's sweaty. He runs around a lot. <laughs> she has to throw mud in. I think there's some mud in the side. She's also had to dye my hair a couple of times because I've been in, a, in and out of a pool for all the water work, and there was a lot of chlorine. With in the a pool. lot of chlorine, and bleached, it bleached his hair. my hair blonde. <laughs> But that's proprietary secret no, knowledge. No. Don't tell anybody that. We've worked together yeah. since the first Jurassic. The first Jurassic. We've done now every movie since. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, would I be like an eight or? Oh, you like are a number. No, 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 no. You are number one, Big Daddy. Oh, wait. I said you were number one. I just feel so blessed. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Pratt here on the set of Jurassic World 2 with my friend Chris Murphy. He's a sound engineer. Right now he's putting a mic on me. You ever see one of those movies with mobsters and they go, you wearing a wire? You think I'm wearing a wire? Well, this is a wire. If we're just rehearsing after rehearsal, I need Chris to, my mic slipped off. It's called a lavalier mic. And oftentimes when you see actors flip out on set, it's because they forgot their lava mic was on. So, how long have you been in the business? 15 years. 15 years? Is there anything that you've worked on that people at home might know? Harry Potter films. Oh! Fast and Furious. Oh, sweet! Yeah. Who do you think would win an arm wrestling match? Vin Diesel or the kid who plays Harry Potter? Daniel Radcliffe. I think Hermione would probably... Yeah, Hermione, yeah. It. And what's, like, your favorite movie? Paths of Destruction. I mean, Chris Pine was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Path of Destruction is yeah. right. Chris Pratt. Not this time. My name's Chris Pratt. I'm here with Greg, Dean, and Mike, and they are in charge of this thing called the Edge. Action! You're going over big rocks, stumps, logs, bumps, things that are going to make a camera bounce up and down, but this thing stays perfectly stable the entire time. It's multiple gyros that are stabilizing the camera and the head itself while we're going. Run! Go uphill, downhill, off road, on road. Yeah. Chasing Chris around everywhere. <laughs> this crane goes 26 feet long, and uh, we can go over 100 miles an hour, no problem. That sounds like it's a lot of fun. Yeah, and it's really taken over how we can work with talent, being able to get the camera right in there to increase the action and actually shoot it for real. And they clocked it yesterday, and I, I run. Granted, this is downhill. 75 miles an hour. So you well, had, you had a wind. Yeah, Look, I had, you had a wind like on a my back. Seven, wind seven on my mile back. an hour wind. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did fast eight. Uh, oh, yeah. Fast seven, fast six. We should remake Bullet, don't you think? You I'm shoot in. it, and I'll be Steve McQueen. <laughs> <laughs> rehearsal done in the water for now. This is Pete, who's been helping me through this process. Pete, what do you do in the movies? What we're just doing here, looking after the self, making yeah. sure that you're all safe. Have you worked in movies a lot? Yeah, I'm 17 years in uh, safe diving. Uh, I've done all the last four Bonds, Mission Impossible, Okay. last two of them. A couple of small uh, little movies this, you may have heard uh, of. And The Mummy. Oh, with Tom, yeah, with yeah, Tom Cruise. Tom again. Now, ranking me against Tom Cruise's oh, our underwater work. Like, how much better am I? Like, significantly better or just like a ton better? Oh, that's not my place. <laughs> that's good. Good answer, Pete. Good answer. Oh, man. When you do underwater work, you work with great crew and people like Pete, who for 17 years have been helping actors like me look like we know what we're doing underwater, which we don't. See, I almost fell off the platform just now. By the way, I'm treading water this whole time. I'm like a water polo player. I'm not standing on a platform just a few feet below the water. <laughs> So 
So here we are at some airport in the middle of England, I believe. Right. I'm with Justice and Daniela. Do you remember the first time you saw Jurassic Park, the original? Yes. We used to take family to road trips, and we would all like pile in the van and watch the Jurassic Park movies in order. Yeah. So all my siblings would like like try to like look away, and I just like eat the guy, eat him. <laughs> Jurassic was one of the first. VHSs that I had. You know the scene where the T-Rex breaks through the top window of the car? I wanted to be the girl. She you was did a great. great job. Also, Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> when you get to meet Jeff Goldblum, will you say anything to him? I'll just will be you like, sir, cool? I love you. <laughs> Shake. <laughs> I saw it in the movie theater. I saw it twice opening weekend. And it was really kind of like my movie that really formed and shaped me. I was about maybe 13 years old when it came out. That's Sorry. awesome. We gotta take you. Sorry, guys. Way more important. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry. Oh, you make a movie? We're making behind the scenes. So. <laughs>
many times did you do that? Four. 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 Yeah. Good job. I think that was uh, amazing. How are you feeling, like, physically? Yeah. Good. You're going to have some bumps and bruises yeah, tomorrow? Yeah, maybe. That's, all, that's part of the fun. <laughs> These guys are awesome. They never complain. I complain all the time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice job, man. That was, that was killer. Right. That was awesome. Ready to fly again? Yay! <laughs> okay, you need to know something about Rochelle, who is a stunt woman extraordinaire. Well, go ahead. What's your name? Rochelle. And what do you do in this business? <laughs> I'm a stunt performer. Slip! Uh, <laughs> what are some things that you've worked on that people might have seen? Uh, Maleficent. Nice. Fast and Furious. Stunt what performer? else did you used to do? <laughs> I am Poe from the Teletubbies. That's right. Yeah. She's Poe from the Teletubbies. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> okay, that's just now. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? That's really cool. Oh. Yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm Pearl. Oh my gosh. Oh it's freaky. Really, it's freaky. It's pretty Did you freaky. watch the Teletubbies? Yeah. What? I don't remember. It's, it's just freaky when you see a person doing it and you'll see like, I know. It scares children, I'm aware. It scares my cat as well. Does it? That's really cool. Thank you, Rochelle. You're very welcome, Chris. <laughs> So this is the last shot of the movie. Chris, what's your job on this movie? Uh, I am an actor. Can you tell me some of the other movies that you've worked on in fact? You may, you may know me from Jurassic World. Yep. For somebody who doesn't really know what an actor does, how would you describe what your job is and what are the most important elements of your job? Um, it really depends. Today, it is important for me to walk down a stream and turn my head a certain direction and squint my eyes. Three, two, one, action! And other days, I might be running away from something, so it's very physical. It's only 20 yards, so I can't get to top speed. I'm probably only going 60, 65 miles an hour on that road. <laughs> and then there are also moments of fear and a little bit of levity. Chris, what was one of your favorite movies from childhood? One oh. of the movies that made you kind of want to do this? Um, anything with Jim Carrey and anything with Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> <laughs> Your career is a combination of Jim Carrey's and Sylvester Stallone's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>